I'll be showing you how to make the eight pieces bustier dress. That means we have four panels in front and four at the back. So we'll be slashing each point. You can see there's a princess dart here. So the armhole princess dart is what is going to help us achieve the two side panel. And then the other side too, we have the two sides. So four in front, four at the back. And we'll be putting the long sleeves. So it's just going to be a knee length dress. And so now we'll go to the table of our cotton. The first thing you do is to mark your vertical measurements. So you first put your half inch for the shoulder joining here. And so from there you mark your shoulder to bust. My shoulder to bust is 10 inches. Now the arm hole length is your, sorry, the shoulder to chest length is your arm hole circumference divided by 2. My arm hole circumference is 17. 17 divided by 2 is 8.5. And then you also mark the midpoint of that arm O. So shoulder to bust is 10. Shoulder to under bust is 13. Shoulder to waist is 17 and a half. But because this is a pattern, you have to measure 2 inches above your waist. That gives me 15 and a half. That's why I marked it here. Because if you put the flare, if your flare begins on the waist, it's going to look really funny, dividing your upper block and the lower block. So your half length is 2 inches or 3 inches above your waistline. And your waistline is the navel point. So to draw our panels now, you have to get your bust span. Your bust span is nipple to nipple divided by 2. Your nipple to nipple divided by 2. Mine is 8. 8 divided by 2 is 4, and then I added half inch allowance. So I'm going to be getting my bust span from bust down to the M line. Down to the M line. So your M line is the desired length, the desired length you want. Okay. So I'm going to be connecting my bust span from the bust down to the M line. This is it. So now let's focus on the arm O region. We're going to now draw a connecting line from the half, from the midpoint of the arm O to the bust. Join it with your ruler like this. Join with your ruler like this. And then we want to use the arm O curve a French curve to shape this point here. That's to shape your arm hole. If you don't have the French curve, you can just use your tape root to mark 1.5 inches at the angle 90 here, or angle 45, just here. So you put your French curve and you curve that out. Now, like I said, anytime you're making your princess that, this curve has the tendency of reducing your length of the dress. So what do you do? You extend this princess that upward by two inches so that whatever shortage will happen here, this extension will make up for it and it will not reduce your length. So I'm going to be marking two inches like this. You mark two inches out. And from this point, you then recurve your arm hole. So this is how to draft your princess that. Mm -hmm. Now, because this point, our bust is not pointed, it is curved. What do you do? You put your, your curve there too, your French curve, and you also shape in that point. You can see how it is. So it won't look pointed by the time you sew. So this is what you have. So now let's go to the panel. We're going to be drawing the panel from the half length down to the M line. So you come to the M line and then you're going to be adding four inches to the bust span. 
I'm going to add just four inches. Now this is totally dependent on you. If you want your flare really big, you can add six, eight inches, but I don't want it too big. So I'll just add four inches, four inches plus half inch allowance for the joining. So that is four and a half. And so I'll be connecting my half length to the hem line like this. like this so this is the front block of this the center block that is two pieces for the front the center block so before we go let's put the short the neck neck measurement so my neck width is seven inches i'm going to be subtracting one inch from seven that gives me six six divided by two is three i will mark three why did i subtract one from the neckline because by the time you sew your facing to the dress is going to open up by half half on both sides that's one inch added to your neck length so when you reduce by one the the sewing of the neck and um, the facing is going to increase it back to the original measurement so that is six divided by two i have three and then the length of my neck is four i just i don't want it too low this is four so you also get the four here and you mark the width here which is three and so you draw a square start drawing your square then you can then shape the neckline with your curve like this and remember that we always have the shoulder slant our shoulder slant is one inch so i'm going to begin from this top because the half inch is already there so this is it. So I'm connecting like this. So I'm going to cut this out now for you to see. After cutting, this is what you get. And so this is what we need. Now by the time you open up, see this. So now we're going to slash the center into two and then because we want to have panels by the side of each of the piece we want to create another panel for one of the center blocks so what are you going to do you're going to cut another pattern just cut a paper pattern here and then you place one of the center pieces you place it against it like this on the half length you're going to mark against that pattern and the end line you're also going to mark against that pattern remember we said we're adding 4.5 inches to each piece so I'm going to use my tape rule to mark 4.5 inches on that additional point And then you draw a straight line just watch closely and so from there you're going to connect that half length to the M line you go this way it's really easy once you can take your time to watch carefully Then you cut out that piece. So that's the, the joining. Many people ask me on Facebook that can I cut a piece's dress without using pattern? I don't think it's a good idea because you will end up wasting your fabric. So that's why it's always good to do your pattern work properly then you can place this on each fabric area that you want to cut out so that's the, the center of the first one and this is the second center piece so you can see this is our first that's two pieces already so we want to cut the areas of the princess that at the at both sides now to cut the side panels 
the first thing to do is to mark your four and a half inches that's the extension of the panel that we did on this block you're going to mark the four inches on the end line so you place your center piece you put it on your pattern just watch me you're going to get it okay so you mark your bust circum sorry your bust point under bust point and the half length you're going to mark it here and then you're going to now trace with your tracing wheel you're going to trace from the bust line bust point to the arm o that's the princess that you're going to trace it out with your tracing wheel like this once you get to this point you can then stop now you connect the half length to the panel at the end. You connect that, that's it. Remember we did a shoulder point, we did the arm o curve on the first pattern before we cut it out initially for the center. So now this will help us to be able to curve our arm o point on the side panel so you're going to take this pattern and you place the previous one on it and so i'll be cutting that out so it can help me trace my pattern properly that's it so i'll place it on the new pattern okay so that's the bust and then you're going to do this just watch like this. so that's our princess that no need to start measuring just place your pattern off you go after you've removed your pattern now we want to get the full circumference measurements so you begin your measurements from the tip we're assuming that this is the center of your dress the front center so my bust circumference is nine and a half so sorry it's 38 38 divided by four is nine and a half so you mark the quarter of your circumference of your bust circumference there at the under bust is 32 divided by four is eight so i'm marking eight so whatever i have on my under bust is what i also use for my half length that's it. And then you connect your points together. Connect the points together. Now we'll come to the up the hemline. Mark four inches on the M line. Or let's put our hip circumference. My hip circumference is 40. So remember, 4.5 is our bust span that is there. And then 40 divided by, by 4 is 10. So I'll mark 10 here. And then I'm going to be adding the 4.5 inches for that side panel. I'll be adding it here too on the M line. And then I'll use my ruler to connect from the half length down to the M line like this. Now, because the fabric I'm using is scuba, I will not be adding any seam allowance to the side because the fabric stretches and it needs to be firm on the body. But if you're using Ankara, polished cotton, any other one, remember to add your two inches seam allowance to all the points. Two inches allowance. Add it all the way down. But this is the pattern I'll be using I will cut this out now before I get my fabric. This is one side for the side block. We've cut it. So you're going to just place it over your pattern again. Either way. So you're going to cut out this again for the second side of the front block. Now that's the, the cutting of our pattern. 
And see, this is one, two. So that's our four pieces for the front block. So for the back block, is practically the same thing, just that you're going to be adding your zipper allowance at the back. So now we use the fabric in cutting out this part. We use the pattern to cut the fabric, and this is what you have for the block. So now we want to cut the back. To cut the back block, you're going to place that pattern, that center piece pattern on the fabric, and then you'll be marking one inch zipper allowance. You don't need too much zipper allowance on the scuba. One inch, you just mark one inch all the way to the end line from here. And so if you want the same neck length, then you can cut it out this way. But I don't want the same neck length. So I'll just mark two inches for my neck length, like this, and then you mark your allowance. So by the time I'm cutting, I'm going to create my curve. Just look faintly, the, the chalk is quite faint, but you get it. So this is for the back. So I'm going to be connecting this down, and then you cut out the shape of this piece. That's your center piece for the back. With the zipper allowance there and then you can see that the neck of the back is higher than the one for the front now for the side of the block if you don't want it as a bustier dress you can cut out this exact shape but because we'll be having a bustier and then we'll have to shape it under the bustier i have decided to add the allowance for the bustier to the side so I'll just be adding the 1.5 inches allowance on the side block so that I'll be able to shape in my bustier here. Whatever you are removing from here, you must include it at the side so that your measurement will not be short. So that's 1.5 inches added to it in order to shape our bustier properly. So you're going to indicate your bust, under bust, half length. To get your bust here, you come to the under bust point and you mark 1.5 inches into the block, like this. So you're going to be marking it all the way down to the M line. So that's the bust here. And then you mark one inch below at the arm O at the princess that here, and then you slant it into the the chest area. And so you cut this out. And that's it. This is now for the front block. So now it's time to sew. Now you're going to sew half an inch on each joining. Just sew half an inch for the front and the back blocks. That's the front block. You can see the bustier effect. Now you're going to cut your facing. The facing is 2.5 inches wide. You cut it for the neckline and you're sewing half inch round. For the back block, you also put your facing like this. And then you'll be sewing half an inch round. Half an inch round. This is a zipper allowance. After you're, you've turned the neckline of the back with your facing, you then open up your zipper Make sure you use the same thread, the same color of zipper for the dress. I couldn't get the lilac. That's why I'm using this for the tutorial, but I'm not sewing this down. So you turn it upside down. And you take this first one. You put, place it against the one inch allowance. Remember, we left one inch allowance. And your stopper will be just at the tip of the dress. 
So you put this inside, you can see the extension inside, and you pin the edge down. You pin it down. So you're going to mark one inch, one inch, one inch, and you're going to pin that down. So you'll be sewing close to the teeth of your zipper. You're going to sew it down. The second side, you also place that against it. One inch zipper allowance. And you pin it down. All the way down. So once you finish sewing your zipper, remember I've not sewn mine, so make sure you sew and then you cover it up. Then you place the front block on the back block so that you can sew the shoulders. So how do you sew? You hold the front block in between the back and then you cross that's the facing and the back shoulder you put the front block in between and then you cross it like this and so you'll be sewing half an inch on that shoulder once you're done with the shoulders then you do your hemming stitches on the neckline or you use the hemming gum you can use it to hold down your facing and so on the sides you just sew half an inch that's all. You sew half an inch, then we do the sleeves. Now we want to fix our sleeve. You just get your basic measurements. That's from your shoulder to your short length and then to the long sleeve. We have been in the basic class, so you know how to sew, then you know how to get this basic measurement. So the sleeve circumference. You fix that here, you divide by 2. My sleeve circumference is 10. That's divided by 2 is 5. And I added half inch seam allowance. So the short sleeve is 12. And I added half inch allowance. And then on this point, you're going to curve your arm o circumference. The one on the body. The, the arm o slope here must be the same as the arm o slope of the bodies. So once you get that, just connect your point with half an inch for the two sleeves. So that's it, the sleeves. But if you want your sleeves firmer, you can reduce the length of your circumference by one inch before you then sew with half, like we did for the for the block of the dress. You might not add any seam allowance at all to the sleeve. And then you just sew it like that. And then you can see that we've top stitched the edge of the sleeve. That's the sleeve circumference. You also top stitch that. Now you're going to take the sleeve. That's the armpit. You put it against the armpit of the dress. So you're going to pin this round. And you tuck this in. You pin the shoulder point to the to the sleeve and the armpit too. You pin them together, and then you're going to sew half inch round the armhole on both sleeves. So I cut out. This is the outcome of the dress. You can see how beautiful it lays. See. So the trimmings I cut out from the this lace fabric. And then I use the glue gun in gumming this round the patches. So you can see it at the M line too. You can see the lace work. So you can actually design this with pearls, with stones, whatever you, you would love to use. Appliques, whatever. Just make it beautiful. And I look forward to seeing your tutorials, your practicals. Thank you.